to ask the Scottish Government what discussions the Rural Affairs Secretary has had with ministerial colleagues regarding the potential impact on the drink industry supply chain on the introduction of the deposit return scheme. Minister Lawrence Slater. I have kept ministerial colleagues updated with developments during the implementation process. Most recently, I sent a letter to all MSPs earlier this month that provided a comprehensive update ahead of the launch of the UK's first deposit return scheme. I will continue to keep Parliament up to date as we head towards the go-live date in August of this year. Sharon Dowie, could you adjust your microphone just slightly? Thank you. Having spoken to rural businesses, they have raised concerns about the 24 substantial steps required to register for the deposit return scheme. The first step requires a business to sign up to a three-year legal commitment, which will significantly change their operations and could even bankrupt them. If businesses fail to sign up by next week, the risk that they may no longer be able to sell in Scotland could significantly impact the rural supply chain. Will the Minister engage with these businesses to limit the impact on the rural supply chain and speak to her Cabinet colleagues to listen to and address these concerns? Minister. I thank the member very much for the questions. The concerns raised by small producers I am taking very, very seriously, as the member will note from the significant intervention for small producers, well, for all producers, but focused it on small producers' needs that was announced on Tuesday this week, increased cash flow and simplification of labelling for small quantities. I'm going to meet again with small producers tomorrow to see if, what else we can put on the table to help them to comply, and I would uh, to comply with the legislation, and I would encourage all producers to begin their registration process with Circularity Scotland by the deadline of the end of this month. Question seven, Jamie Green. Thank you. To ask the Scottish Government what discussions the Rural Affairs Secretary has had with ministerial colleagues regarding the potential impact of the deposit return scheme on small-scale drinks producers. Minister. Uh, as I confirmed in my response to Sharon Dowie, I have kept ministerial colleagues updated with developments during the implementation process. The letter that I sent to all MSPs earlier this month details measures we have put in place to support businesses, including small producers. I will continue to listen to the concerns of small producers and whether there is any further action we can take to support them ahead of the scheme going live. Jamie Green. Uh, well, as part of that listening exercise, uh, could the minister listen to this? This is Philip Sisson, who runs Simple Things Fermentations a small craft brewery in Glasgow. He's written to me today, and he wants me to say this to the minister. TRS will have a catastrophic impact on my business and the craft sector. Uh, the, we survived the pandemic by producing quality products and offering excellent service, but that won't be enough to get us through the chaotic implementation of a badly flawed DRS. He says small producers are being thrown under the bus. Minister, is he wrong? Minister. I thank the member very much for the question. I met with small producers a week ago on Friday in which we discussed their concerns in great, deal, in great detail, including uh, their specific concerns around cash flow for their businesses and the costs around labelling of small quantities. Uh, the Circularity Scotland announced an intervention on Tuesday, £22 million worth of support for the cash flow of small businesses and a solution for labelling to specifically support craft brewers, uh, small wine importers and craft spirit producers. Um, I'm, this was a significant intervention to, to support these businesses and I look forward to meeting those businesses tomorrow again to find out if there's anything further we can do to support them to participate in the scheme. And a number of supplementaries, same appeal, brief questions, brief answers. First, Christine Graham. Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. I, I must agree with Jamie Green here. I've been written to by Traquair Brewery, my constituency, famous for its craft brews, operating since 1965, with a global reputation exporting all around the world. All materials sourced locally, even the malt is put into cattle feed. They tell me, without anything else, that the, the deposit return scheme will have a devastating effect on their business in all respects. Now, I hear what the Question, Minister says, please, but Graham. will the Minister please listen to these small craft breweries? Minister. I thank the member very much for the question. I take the considerations and concerns of small businesses very seriously. That is why I met with them a week ago Friday, and we have put this week a significant intervention. Circularity Scotland has announced £22 million of cash flow support and specific response to their concerns around labelling. These were the issues that were raised with me by small business, and this was the solution put into place by Circularity Scotland. I will meet with these businesses again tomorrow to take forward any further concerns. Colin Smith. 
Thank you, President. Officer, the Minister will know that a Scotland-wide tender was issued to American hedge fund owned Biffa to provide collections under the scheme. What assessment has the Minister made of the impact this may have on the small and medium-sized businesses in rural communities who were excluded uh, from that decision uh, and in some cases will actually lose existing uh, contracts for recycling collections? Minister. Uh, I thank the member very much for the question. Uh, Circularity Scotland is a private business and therefore their procurement processes are for them. It's, it's not a government procurement process and they may conduct those how they wish to do. When the, when the deposit return scheme comes online, the amount of glass and other recyclate in the system that is collected and cleaned for recycling will increase enormously. Curbside recycling and other systems will still deal with non-scheme articles. So you're, you're your, pa your pasta jars, your other, other things, shampoo bottles, all these materials will still be in the standard recycling schemes. Uh, the deposit return scheme specifically increases the volume and quality of recycling of scheme materials, which overall will increase our recycling in Scotland. Mr Lumsden, please, no more heckling from us in your position. Uh, Colette Stevenson, briefly. <laughs> Can the Minister outline the discussions Scottish Government and drinks producers have had, and will these continue, particularly with small businesses, to ensure, ensure the rollout is a success? Briefly as possible, Minister. Uh, thank you very much. As I've outlined to other colleagues, I am taking a pragmatic approach on the implementation of DRS and am regularly meeting with industry stakeholders, including drinks producers, to get direct feedback on the scheme and to identify challenges and solutions. As a result of industry feedback, particularly from small businesses like craft breweries, Circular Scotland announced a £22 million package of support for these producers. I will continue to engage with businesses and, indeed, tomorrow I'll be meeting with small drinks producers again to discuss their readiness for launch. Question.